Hello everyone, Pinner Productions here and today I am using an app called Bitstream. Now the reason I am using this is because on my previous Twitch tutorial video on how to do the IRL streaming through the new app, a lot of people had complaints that basically it wasn't working for them. So I'm going to go through this app and show you another alternative way to use IRL streaming uh, through a third party app. So let's go through and do this if you can't get the option for IRL streaming. So I need to sign in here. So I'll log in and you want to authorize Bitstream to view your channel key and you want to pick the correct Twitch server. So I am EU London UK and press OK and you want to allow it to record audio and I'm going to go for the max out 30 FPS all of it maxed out uh, probably won't be too great on my Wi-Fi but there we go and now we are live so um testing old phone no I'm not really testing the old phone can I change that no okay so you will need to use the Twitch app beforehand or something else to go to your dashboard and edit that. Oh, so I can actually chat. You can see chat down there in the bottom left. So that's really quite useful then for some people possibly if you can see the chat and you can actually chat in the chat as well, which could be quite useful for some. Um, that's a feature that, again, the actual Twitch app didn't have. And also you can adjust the settings in this app, which is another one the Twitch app didn't have. I wonder, can I switch the camera around? You can, you can switch camera, uh, you can detect rotation, lock rotation, microphone, I guess that's a microphone mute there. And I will edit in a clip of this stream so you can see what the quality was like. I'll download it after this stream has uh, become a VOD. So it does look like a good app. You can see how many viewers there are as zero. I do want to thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. If you want to try and do the first party Twitch app, if that is, or if you haven't tried it yet, then um, I'll put a link to that in the description, that tutorial. And I hope this has helped anybody who was struggling to use that app and who the app didn't work for. Anyway, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. And I forgot to mention that that is how you end the broadcast with that red stop button there. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to stop my recording now.